guys, so today we are going to be replacing the valve cover gaskets on a B5S4, that is the 2.7 twin turbo motor. Uh, valve cover gaskets do go out on these cars, they start seeping, and then you get an oily smell, it starts burning, and it's just not a good time. So we are gonna replace those today, and basically I'm gonna do a time-lapse video in between me explaining what I'm taking apart, and then I'll have the camera over the motor showing what I'm doing just in a fast pace. So um, if you are new to this channel, just make sure you head over to my channel, uh, subscribe, and help me reach a thousand subscribers by August. All right, let's get started. First, you're gonna to wanna to get a radio and get into some crappy clothes because it is gonna be dirty. All right, guys, so got the old clothes on. I got the laptop, just in case I need to reference the, uh, the internet for anything, and I have the music because I feel like it's illegal to not listen to music and work on your car, but I mean, some people do like to think when they're working on cars as well as me, but I just think better with music. So let's get started working on this. I'm gonna remove the plastics here, the air box and all the plastic around here. I'm not gonna remove the Y pipe unless I feel like I have to. People do this with the Y pipe on. I'll see how difficult it is to do with the Y pipe on. I'll, I'll have to decide, but it looks like I might be able to do it with it off. I mean, with it on, I'm sorry. And uh, I will be removing this pipe right here though, this plastic pipe. So let's get started. When you do take those off, make sure you put them in a safe spot. If you crack these and break these, these plastics, they are extremely expensive to replace. You have to buy them from ECS Tuning. That's the only place that IC sells them and they're over $200 for a set. Alright guys, so I basically took off, right now we're just going to do the passenger side, which I uh, failed to mention in the beginning of the video. They're very similar, although I believe there's like some canister that's in the way over there, but other than that, um, the driver and the passenger side are very similar. Now I just moved everything out of the way here, I uh, actually had trouble getting the mass airflow sensor out, so I just kind of moved it out of the way instead of breaking any plastic or anything. It looks like I'm going to need a new filter soon. but. Um, all right, so it, I do think I'm gonna remove this Y pipe. It really is in the way, you know, right, right here. And um, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll remove it. it. Just seems like it would be easier if I uh, if I do remove it. But um, we're gonna start taking out these coil packs right here, and then we're gonna take out the spark plugs and. Then we'll take out the take off the um, valve cover gasket. So, sorry, I'm talking a little slow. I'm thinking of exactly what I want to do, but all right, let's get back to it. Guys, so I have the Y pipe off, I have the inlet pipe off, the one inlet pipe that goes down there, and I put a sock in there because I did not want anything to get in there, and you guys should do that too. Um, I got the coils out, the coil packs, and now I just have to take the spark plugs off. And um, yeah, so the thing I had the most trouble with 
was taking off these uh, these clips right here. They just did not want to come off, and these tubes are just insanely tight, but they have to be because that's where all the air comes through. But um, yeah, let's take out the spark plugs now, and then we're gonna take off the valve cover gasket. And let's do that. All right guys, so we did get the valve cover off, and man was it a pain. But uh, you might have seen me um, cutting some of the uh, zip ties off. Those zip ties were just holding some of these um, vacuum lines and um, just certain lines to the valve cover, get, uh, the valve cover. so I had to cut those in order to take them off. But um, I will make sure to put those uh, back on. And uh, so there's the inside of the motor, well the cams at least, and it is pretty cool looking. But um, yeah, it was so tough to get off. So what I did, even though I don't like to do this because you can mess up the metal, uh, the, like the metal seating, I stuck a little screwdriver um, in between the, the cover and the where it seats. But I, all I did was I stuck it on the, this is such a thick, you know, a thick gasket. So I just stuck it in the gasket so the metal wasn't on metal, like the metal of the screwdriver wasn't on the metal seat. And then it started slowly prying up. So we're good there. Now what I'm gonna do is take the old gaskets off, clean it extremely well. You know, all the area, clean it extremely well. And then put the compound on. Uh, I'm using Ultra Black. I'll show you guys exactly what it is. And then, uh, so what I, basically what I'm gonna do is put the compound on all around, then place the new gasket on, and then put compound on the four corners of the gasket. That's what the, uh, the manual says to do at least. And then uh, I'll put it on and torque it back down, so. Keep watching, we're getting there. All right guys, so now what we're gonna do is apply this Permatex Ultra Black Gasket Maker um, right along this area, which is where the, uh, the cover seats with the other side. So that's where we're gonna put the, the maker all around. And um, once we put the gasket on, then on top of the gasket, we're also gonna, going to apply it right to the corners, all four corners of it. All right. So I have the gaskets in. Now when you press them down over the uh, the Permatex gasket maker, make sure you wipe off whatever ex excess there is. Um, now I did put the new ones on, the Felpro ones. They do feel really nice and they have these metal rings around where the bolt goes. I really do like these. Like I said, they were expensive, but you do not want to go cheap on your gaskets. So that being said, once you put these top ones on, on all four corners of it, you want to apply some, some more Permatex Ultra Black, the gasket compound and that corner right there in the back left is extremely hard to work in the camera does not do it justice how small that area is but um you do want to make sure you get some down there and there will be uh, excess coming out but there's really nothing I could do about that but what we're gonna do now is put the 
um, cover back on and torque it to seven feet pounds, okay, foot pounds, and then I will explain the correct pattern to torque them in. And you want make sure, and you want to make sure that you do do that in the correct pattern, or you're gonna have leaks. So I will show you guys that as soon as I get that cover back on. Hey guys, sorry for the background noise. Uh, my neighbor is cutting his grass. But once you get your valve cover um, back on, what you want to do is hand tighten all of your nuts. But before you do that, apply blue medium strength Loctite uh, thread locker to the threads that these eight nuts will sit on. So eight threads, okay? And then you are going, going to want to hand tighten them, like I said. Then get a ratchet and lightly um, tighten them with the ratchet in this order. You want to start on this one right in the middle, on this nut right in the middle, and then work your way out evenly, okay? Just like how my hand was, and then end with that last middle one. And then once you tighten them down with the ratchet, like I said, easily, you do not want to torque them down too much. You're going to want to get your torque wrench, okay? And then torque them down to seven pound feet, okay, or feet pound. And then we will start putting this back together. All right. Right, guys so we're all torqued down now and uh i'm a little nervous i'm not really nervous but i always get nervous when i do gaskets just in case like anything didn't see, see correctly but i think i should be good um everything's torqued down properly um hopefully everything is going smoothly for you guys and now we will just do everything in the reverse order so let's start putting this car back together okay guys so we are finally done with the b5s 4s uh valve cover gaskets so I'm gonna wait about a, yeah about a day just for that uh, silicone compound to just you know dry and I just recommend it to do that. So if you guys have the right tools and you have some mechanical you know knowledge, not a ton, you should be able to do this. The hardest part is working in tight spots and just making sure you don't drop anything. So um, yeah, hopefully it worked out for you guys. If you guys like automotive stuff, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out my other videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.